Back straight, close your eyes. Let's start with deep breathing. Breathe in through your nose, deep breath. Breathe out. In. Out. Do your best to fill in your lungs all the way when you breathe in. Then out all the way. Very good from here. Let's do the highest room so you remember on your own time. Sadia, the name. Sadia B, she's up. Eyes and now we can start with the warm up. Is everybody ready? Yes, sir. Yes. Stand up. Okay, ready? Two. And then let's begin jumping jacks. Now, third, set, net, hustle. Yes, well, here you go. Third, I'm up. You on the inside, check Justin. Five, three, set, net, hustle, 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 hustle. Left and right, body count. Forward and back now. Third, set, net, that's all. Press up, you go, you third, I hope. You are going to go forward, back, left, right, or big jump, you count, ready? Let's go, and now. Third, set, net, that's all. Press up, you go, you go. Oh, you got your legs. That was very confusing. That's the point. Testing your reflex. Okay, let's do this, everyone. Legs apart. Okay, you're gonna reach in front of your legs. You're gonna reach behind your legs. You're gonna stand up and you're gonna arch your back two times. By my count, let's do two sets. Ready? And now, two, set, net. That's up. Here's up. You go. Get there. I hope you again. Now, set, net. That's up. Here's up. You go, you're there. Ah, yeah. Okay, good from here. Reach to your opposite leg and lift up the other hand and switch your hands. Ready now. Three, set, net. That's it. Yes, sir. You go, you're there. Ah, yeah. Good from here. Hands on your waist. Big, big circles. And now. Three, set, net. Pass the other way. Yes, sir. You go, you're there. Ah, your body coming. You can take your trick adjustment place for now. Okay, ready? From your hands up, turning left and right. Now, third, set, net, pass up, pass up, and go. You're done. I'll hold. You go from here. Let's do a little bit of hip rotation. So, what you're going to do is you're going to raise your knee, you're going to push it out, and then come back down. Other leg up, out, and then back down. Let's do this a couple of times. Ready? Let's do 10 total. Body, you can count. So, jump. Third, set, net, pass up. Yes, sir. Here you go. Here, there. Very good. Now let's go out to in. So go out and bring it all the way around. Ready? And now. Third. Set. Net. Pass up. Yes, sir. Here you go. Here, there. Ah, ho. Here. Okay, shake out your legs. Okay, good. From here, everyone, let's start with some. Hopping, up and down, bouncing. Okay, from here, let's do this. Every time I count, let's do a knee up real quick. Ready? Now, ha! Next one we're gonna do is a split jump. So split jump, you're gonna raise your knee, and you're gonna push your other leg back and tuck in your foot. So it's gonna look like this. Okay, make a 90 degree angle with both of your legs. Next jump, you're gonna go the other way. Okay? If you can, you can use those swing your hands in the opposite direction as well. Like you're running in the air. Might help you now. You'll see. Ready, everyone bounce up and down. Split jump, ready, hit on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she got her legs. 
Okay, now his legs should be nice and warm. Let's do some lunges. Okay, hands on your waist. Okay, big step forward and step back. Now, three, set, net, pass up, yes up, ego, get there, aho, yay. Next exercise for today is going to be bear push ups. Okay, so for this one, keep your knees straight, hands to the ground, walk forward, push up, walk back in, stand up. For this one, I'm going to give the trick to Justin to come. Yes, sir. Okay, you ready? Nah. Whole body should be nice and warm now. Today, we're going to start with abs. Have a seat. Okay, let's start with the upper abs, then we'll jump to our lower abs. First, what we're going to do is chest ups. So, very similar to a crunch, have your legs at a 90 degree angle. You have one hand pointing straight up to the sky, other hand in the other arm. So in this position, you're going to bring your head up and lift up your fingers straight up and down, but your feet have to stay still. Try to maintain the illusion of there being a chair under your legs, okay? So for those of you at home who have trouble with this, well, honestly, you shouldn't. You're an advanced belt. You can put a chair actually on top of your feet to keep it still, but I don't think any of you guys would need that. So from here, here, go up. And down and your feet still. Okay, we'll do 10 right hand and 10 left hand. Let's start with body counting and then stretch adjusting counting. When you're ready, see you jump. Ten chan. Na. Three. Say. Ne. That's up. It's up. The four. It's there. Oh. Yeah. Very good. Next one let's do is some leg raises. For this one, we're actually going to go fast because it's going to lead into something else. Okay, so let's do 20 leg raises nice and fast. Hands underneath your butt. Raise your legs all the way up and then almost to the ground. Then back up, almost to the ground. The almost to the ground part is very important because when your legs are coming down and you're resisting the gravity, that's when your abs are doing the most work, right? So whenever you bring the legs down, two things, keep them straight and keep them off the ground. All clear, let's do 20, I'll do 10. Instruct to Justin to do 10, bring the legs off the ground first, and she jumped. Now, third, set, net, that's up, yes up, you go, get there, now hop. Yours, I've just said. Nine, three, set, left. That's up, that's up, the four, the third, a four, here. Okay, very good. So for today, we're also going to do hip raises. Okay, so now you get to bend your knees, but now you're going to kick straight up and then come back down. All while keeping your legs off the ground. So it looks like this. Knee in, and then up, and then back down, off the ground. Up, down. Are we all clear? So you can use momentum on the way up, but you have to use control on the way down. All right, let's try for, okay, let's try for 
pretend first. I've never done this before. I want to see how hard it is. If it's too easy, we'll do more. Okay? So we're this 10, this up, body count. Oh, here's me. Ready? Yeah. Uh, Ten more to Justin. Slower, but okay. We <laughs> That's fine. Down, this is our dance class. You're doing abs. You're supposed to go slow for abs. <laughs> okay. Next thing we're gonna do. Let's do some V-sit twists. Okay, so you make a V with your body. You're gonna twist your body side to side, touching the ground. All right. Easy version. Knees bent. This is advanced class. So straighten your knees. Twisting left and right. Okay, make sure your shoulders turn. Okay? Alright, from here, let's do. Alright, so each side, alright, go left and right, that's one. We'll do 20 like that. Okay? I'll count and then instruct adjust and we'll count. Ready? Legs out. Hands up. So you jump down. Two. Step. Then. That's up. Here's up. Here go. Here go. Here go. Here go. You want to just say, nine, three, ten, ten, up, it's a lot, go, turn, go, woo! Daniel, everyone at home, grab a chair. I'll get my own. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'll give you another 20 seconds to rest, but also to get a chair for what we're about to do next. We're going to work on some balance control. So I'm going to put this sideways so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so there's two levels for this one. All right, we're going to be doing some pistol squats nice and slow, but only down. Okay, so what we're going to do is this. For those of you who think you're not so strong at with pistol squats, you stick your leg up and you're gonna go down as slowly as you can and come up. Okay? So that's the easier one. If you have trouble with keeping your leg straight, you can bend your knee before you sit down, but try to keep your leg straight. The hard one is this. Hold your foot. And then, from here, <laughs> you're going to hold your foot out, and then you're going to slowly sit and pop back up without letting go. Okay? So basically, right, don't worry about falling down because you have a chair underneath you, but try not to sit down straight away. You want to very slowly lower yourself onto the chair. Everyone, you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, so pick a method bend, straight, or grab. Ready? No. Oh. Okay, I thought I missed my chair. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, this balancing thing is really hard. Set. Neck. Toss up. Oh, change your legs. I've done that grab one before, it's really hard. Get ready from here? And now. Three. Set. Net. Yeah. Hustle. There you go. 
Okay, now we're going to do something we don't really do very often, which is we're going to work out our hamstring. Lie on the ground. Put one foot on the chair. What you're going to do is this. You're going to point the other leg straight up, and you're going to lift up your hips with the leg that's on here by going up and then back down. Okay, so you're going to hold it at the up and then relax on the down. So I say up, you go up. I say down, you go down, and you guys count. Okay, ready? So point your leg straight upwards, and let's go. Up, down, down, down. Yeah, good. up, down, three, up, down, set, up, down, set, up, down, up, 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 down, that's up, up, down, up, 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 down, get third, up, uh, down, up, up, that's one, up, hold, down, third. Take a second to rest, breathe in. And change your legs. As I go. And ready. Up. Down. Nine. Up. Down. Three. Up. Down. Set. Up. Down. Nine. Up, down, that's up, up, down, that's up, up, down, go, up, down, get down, up, down, up, 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 Hold. Down. Sorry. Okay. Stand up. I like this. Fish your forward tail. And then let's get some water and come back. Okay, let's come back in. But today we're going to go through Ponce number beginners. One, all the way up through Korean. Oh, I guess kind of. Okay? So start from the beginning, we take up one, right? The first few we're going to do together. Okay? Facing forward. Two. And then. That's good. Oh, okay. Ready? Continue to me. So we take up one, no block now. Third, punch. Set. Net. Hassa. Yes up. Here we go. Third. Oh. Yeah. And now. Third. And now. Third. And now. Third. faster because we're doing more of them, so we're going to go up to Pumse number two straight away. Okay, so remember guys, just for Pumse number one, keep in mind which leg you're supposed to move. This is the most common area we see. It's people going sideways with the front leg instead of the back leg here or here. It should be this way, it should not be this way. Okay, don't move that front leg to the side, make sure it's your back leg with steps. Okay, let's go for Pumse number two together. Three! Set. And then! Take your mid, take number two, by my count, we'll block it up. Forward side smash, third, set, net, to the front middle block, net, third, to the side, we'll block it up. 
一个 face punch， 对不对？再来，那这个 front bend block， 那对。Turn around, middle block. Come on. Third. To the back, middle block. Come on. Kick punch. Third. Seven. Nine. Ha ha. One more. Just. Okay. Do a quick nose from scene number two. Make sure your back is straight whenever you enter a forward stance. So as you transition forward here. Maintain your posture. Don't have your body go in line with your back. That's one of the most common things. Is we see this because people feel like their body is in line when they're lining up with their back. But you have to make sure that you feel some tension here where your, well, basically where your butt is, right? To make sure that your body is not right when you throw that punch. Remember, you bring your punch forward by twisting, not by leaning. Okay, that's the general rule for punching. Whenever you punch, it's this. It's never this, right? So same thing here. Whenever you change your forward stance, twist your shoulder, but don't throw your head forward. Okay. Let's go from one to the other. Two, and then come take me. Take a three round right now. Low block. Now kick double punch. Two, two, now pass up. Next time strike. Pass up. Single next time block. Now. Third punch. Set. Next. Pass up, middle block. Pass up. Turn around, middle block. Now. Third. Take double punch. Set. Next. To the back, middle block punch. Now. Third. Set. Kick, middle block punch. Next. Kick, middle block punch. Ah! Right over. Just relax. Okay, just remember, guys, at the ending, this is another one of the most common mistakes we see is that towards the end, they're all walking stances. Okay, on these low block punches, walking stance, walking stance, kick, low block punch, walking stance, kick, low block punch, and walking stance. Don't land big. Okay, same with going forward when you do the middle blocks and the knife hand strikes. Make sure you're in walking stance going forward, and later on, middle blocks, make sure you're in walking stance. Okay? Only time you need that forward sense of the spoon says after the kick. All right? Let's move on to which is number four. Okay, you ready? Here's the forward check. And then, you tell your mate. Okay, spoon say number four to knife hand block now. Knife hand thrust third. Make sure you set your hands the same way you would set for a punch by throwing your shoulder back and bringing your hand to your waist. Set. Okay, so right here, this movement is going to happen just before you strike. Now, right to the front, left hand strike, get low, and now. Third, turn kick, reverse punch. Side kick, side kick, turn left hand block, and now. Third. Set. Now, make sure you have a good back stance here and set your hands before you kick. And set your hands for middle block before you left. Now, third, set, from so kick into two, back fist. To the side, middle block, punch, and up. Third, to the back, middle block, double punch, and up. Third, ha! Right over. Sure. Okay, guys, a few things. For technique, and remember, two and a half block steps from your belt. When it comes to movements, mistakes that people tend to make, especially after the back fist, when you go to the side, make sure you go with the same hand as you're stepping with. All right? So if you step with your left leg, your leg goes out and back in. It's going to look like this. Out, back in. For each of those punches. Because you're turning this way, but you're blocking this way, you have to go off center and then swing your hand back in the center before you punch. So avoid doing this and avoid blocking with the wrong hand. Okay? At the end, it's the same hand as your left. Take five, let's move on. Tip, and then, 
If you guys have questions in the comments, please do let us know. I can answer them after each room safe if you have any questions. Ready? Low block enough. Hammer face third. Make sure you're feeling an L shape here. Set. Now, to the front, middle block, middle block. Enough. Front kick, back face, middle block. Enough. Third. Step forward, back face. Sit down. Turn around, middle block. Enough. Change the forward stance, elbow. Enough. Turn around, see that's one block. Third. Set. To the back, low block, middle block. Enough. Third. Front kick, low block, middle block. To the side, hip block. Enough. Third. Side kick, hand out, and elbow strike. Make sure you're doing a side hammer fist here. Okay? So the movement is sideways. Your palm should be facing down here, not palm sideways. Palm downwards. Ready to turn around, hip block, enough. Third. To the back, low block, middle block. Enough. Front kick, stop at the back fist. Enough. Okay hey guys, so make sure at the end you have your cross stance done properly. So the cross stance, remember, your front leg, 45 degrees off center. Your toes should be one fist away from your heel, from the side of your leg, sorry. You should make a T-shape with your legs. So lifting up your heel, and your body should face sideways from the direction that you're turning. If you do this properly, without moving your ball of your feet, right? If you lift up your heels and turn back to B, your toes should be on the same line. So you don't actually have to move very far when you go from the cross stance back to Jumbi. If you've done your cross stance properly, when you return to Jumbi, your toes should be side by side. That's one mark to know that you've done it properly. Okay, so from here, let's move on to take up six. Are we going to comments? Uh, not okay, take six, let's begin. Face forward, turn here. Turn there. Boom, say Jumbi. Go block, forward stance. Now. Third, front kick on behind, out of the block. Set. Neck. Reverse to the left hand. Now, make sure you're in forward stance here. Turning kick, land to horse riding defense and step to the side. Now, out of block punch. Third, front kick, reverse punch. Set. Out of block punch. Neck. Front kick, reverse punch. Now, slow double low block. Make sure your hands up end up in line with each other, and they should be slightly in front of your legs. Don't go too far back. Get ready, single knife hand, reverse, and up. Turning kick, here. Hey! Turn around, go block. And now, turn the kick, line behind, on the block. Two, set. Line behind, turn the knife block, and up. Two, step back, on block, and up. Make sure you're in good forward stance here. Now, front leg step back, to me, oh, no. So, okay, from this point on, we're gonna start taking it a little bit slower because we are up to the highest boom stage where you guys actually need to know your movements very well, okay? So because there's more complexity, we're gonna slow down a little bit. We're gonna go with the instructor you just did first. Okay, face okay. forward, okay. In there. Okay, ready? Continue with me. Let's go through take up seven. First move, tiger stance, palm block to the side. Now, so make sure your hand points this way. So from your knee, it's point, turn your body after. Okay, see so my body is turning to the side together with the block. Ready? Front kick, land behind me, the block. Third. Turn around, set. Now. To the front, twin lower knife hand block, and up. Third. To the side, supported palm block, and up. Back fist, third. Make sure that back fist is coming from your shoulder, all right? So a few things to avoid, don't make a circle with your hand, right? Shoulder back, shoulder forward, right? One, two, off center, back to center, right? Ready, and up. Third. Set, feet together, close your right hand and come up to your face level. Remember, right hand in the fist, other hand cupping it. Put your thumb on top of your thumb for Jimmy position here. Okay, ready? Let's continue. 
scissor block. Hana. Make sure you're doing two of them, and because you're doing two, you set your hands twice. Set, block, set, block. It should be double speed as well, it should be twice as fast. Hana. Turn around, wedge block, outer. Hana. So when I say wedge block outer, what I mean by that is this. Your hands, your palms start facing one another, and they twist out. So this is outer wedge block. Okay, inner wedge block would be the opposite. Hands facing outwards and going inwards. So this one you'll see in choreo later, but this one you take with seven, you're gonna do palms facing you, twist out, okay? From shoulder position, this way. Ready, now. This one here, make sure you're reaching for your opponent's shoulder level, you're closing your hands and you're bringing your knee up, okay? So imagine like you're grabbing someone's collar and you're dragging them down. Right, so you have to close your hands tightly as you bring your hands down. From here to the side, X block now. So make sure your X block starts from this position here. From here, it's one, two. It's like a punch with your right hand downwards, but with support on the other side like this. Okay, it ends up in the center of your body. Do it together with the step. Ready, the other side, now. Third. Set. Next, the back side back fist, okay? This is to your temple height. So from here, make sure your fist is at your eye level, all right? That's your temple height. Okay, your wrist should be straight, your elbow should be slightly bent. Okay, from here, sweep kick, make sure your hand stays on your belt before you do the sweep. Now, ready? Side back fist number two. Now, sweep kick, now. Elbow straight, very good. Single leg turn block, now. Third. Ha! Hello. Chuck, relax very good. Your hands. Okay, let's do a take a seven again on your own time, actually, before we continue. Okay, uh, one more thing, guys. When you guys are doing your double uppercut here, make sure that you're doing, again, a cross stance, like we talked about in take of five. However, there is a certain difference. Okay, my foot position for a my foot position for a cross stance here. In order to have my body facing forward, instead of crossing it this way, I have to cross it the other way. So my foot has to face open, forty five degrees. And once again, we have a T shape with our feet here, right, with your heel up and your hands going forward here. So this movement here is in this position with your body facing here, this way. Right, you can have your hands and your hips forward. Then, when you come back, you twist your foot back to facing forward. So after this movement, one, you have to place your leg down this way before you come forward. Otherwise, you get this. And then your body faces 45 degrees to the corner. Okay, so make sure your front leg faces 45 degrees to the side, like this. Twist it as you bring it down. Okay, let's do take each other on your own time. Face forward, say it. And then, you take your way. On your own time, take your seven, shoot up. Relax, then go back. So that's my mistake. Okay, so for take seven, do you have any other comments or do you want to? Yes, so just a little one. When you guys are doing this, turn your foot a little bit beforehand, and then when you kick, don't remember, I say this all the time, don't do the big motion going sideways, right? So you can help yourself, turn your foot a little bit, then you go down, then you're ready in your stance, okay? So up, and that motion, not big sweep like that, okay? 
it. Okay, let's continue. We take an eight, the strict adjusting, we can count this in and get prominence as you see here. Okay, come on. Sir, come man. To me. See ya. Come on. First move there, knee up, and you jump. That's when you do the key up, and as you land with your front leg, that's the timing for the middle block too. Middle block, then you do your double punches, okay? So that's a triple move right there, pretty much. So middle block, then one, two, as your leg lands. Hana! Three! Here with your uppercut, this isn't just uh, that kind of movement there. Move forward, you're not bringing it from underneath and going up like that, okay? So move forward, your hand facing down at first, and then when it goes and they start pass, passing each other, then they start turning, okay? So don't bring it down from below, move it in a straight line, then turn them as they pass, okay? Don't forget the ready form here. When you do this move, you need to ready form as you cross and then you extend for your modified big stance, which will be in one line here. But when you turn to the other side, it's going to shift into a normal big stance. You see there, Master Ken shifted his legs from there to this, okay? Shift into the big stance, from the back stance there. Hana! Front kick, put your leg behind, and then take an extra step from there. Pop block. Three! Set! Now! Now! When you kick here, guys, make sure you put your heel down. Okay? So don't kick with your heel up and being on the toes, on your toes, right? So as you do this stance, your leg comes up, your other heel comes down, then you do your kick, then as you go back into the stance, then you lift it back up again, okay? Now! Third. Set. Now for these second ones, front kick first, low, and then you jump up, do your second kick. Now this is the truth. Double, okay? But again, key up on the second one. Middle block as your front leg lands. Hana! Shift into from back stance here to big stance in the next move. Hana! Three! Set! Unless he has some other things to say. Okay, uh, one quick comment here. Whenever you guys are doing the jumping kicks, make sure you pause before you land. So the most common thing we see after the one, two, people go, ha, ah, and then they'll do the block. Okay? So you want to separate your landing from your kick. So after the double front kick here, ha, ah, you should be staying here and setting your hands before you land. So you take a split second to do that. Even at the back as well. It's one, two, ha, and then one, two, three. So don't fall into it straight away, okay? Demonstrate your balance after you've done the second kick. Let's see how you do it. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's what I preach. Let's Ready? Two, three. Take a punch on, just say eight. Chi, cha. Ha!
And let's go through choreo. So for choreo, does our guest Bonnie want to join us? <laughs> we do it together? Together. What do you think yeah. Justin? Uh, I'll be in front so you can see. So what Bonnie does is that it's boring to teach someone who's already good. Because he knows everything. Right? There's nothing to fix. Okay, so it's okay. Here's your tip. And then, you say to me. Okay, from here, let's start with two knife and block to the side. Now, from here, let's get that double side kick going. But first, you start from the back sides, yes. So that double side kick, you're going to tuck in your knee, go one, and bring your knee up as high as you can before you extend your foot and bend your knee, set your hand. Knife and strike, punch, middle ball. Now, Reverse strike with your right hand, then punch. Show. So, knife hand strike, punch. There we go. And then, now, the block and back steps. Back steps. Turn around, turn knife hand block, and now. Third, double side kick. Knife hand strike, punch, and now. Very good. So, good. Back steps. Okay? So that's okay, right? Ronnie, remember, right? The mistakes you're making now are the common mistakes that everyone makes. So you're helping me teach them. Is it good? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to the front, no strike choke, and now. So make sure the first one, you're striking down at your knee level, like a low block, and you switch your hands, choke at your neck level. Ready? Front kick, and then same thing again. Third. Same thing again. Set. And then key up. Maybe front kick into knee break position. Hana. Okay, so the movement here, guys, after you do your front kick, your hand comes to your stomach level, other hand is in front of you, and you strike forward. Think of this hand like a scooping motion. This hand goes over the hand and hits where your first your partner's knee would be. Okay, so I say partner, but I mean your opponent, whichever. Okay, so knee break, right? You're lifting up, you're scooping up your foot, strike to their knee. Right? This is something you can do to someone in real life, either softly or hard, depending on how nice of a person they are. You can lift up your leg and either push their knee and drag them to the ground, or you can hit it if they're not a nice person. Okay, so you know. Now, so forward turn around. Wedge block. So remember, this is the inner wedge block I talk about. Hands out, palms out, palms facing in, out, in. So earlier it was in, out, now it's out to in. Okay, make sure you know the difference. Ready? Front kick into knee break again. Come on. From here, return to inner wedge block. Come on. Blocking sense. Good. From here, step behind yourself. Make a force riding sense and do a single leg front block. Come on. Yep. And a horse riding sense. Okay, from here, you're going to throw a punch by keeping your left hand in the same position and bringing your fist to your left hand. But now, okay, from here, uh, make sure your palm faces down for the punch. Okay, from here, you're going to cross your leg in front, lift up your knee, and extend your leg, and then land for the spear hand to the groin. But now, so I don't know if you guys know this or not, but this spear hand we're going to be doing right here is the same kind of strike that you do in take up four. This one and this one are actually in the same category. Now you know. Ready, low block, and out. From here, stepping forward, downward block, followed by elbow strike, and out. Single leg front block, and out. Punch, third. From here, make sure you cross your legs. When you extend your foot, this is when your hand goes to your side. So from here, one, up, two. So as you push your leg out, bring your hands to the side of your body. Now. And then from there, you do the groin strike. Ready, low block. Now. Third, downward block and side step into elbow strike. Good. Feet together and slow time of fist. Now. So make sure you close your left hand halfway through and then making a fist. Right? Make sure your left hand. Right? Your fist is facing forward, other hand facing side. So that's the position you're in here. Here and down. 
Get ready. Turn around. Left hand reverse strike and then left hand low strike. Good. Now make sure you do forward sets. Make sure you set your hands twice. Okay, stepping forward. Inner strike and low strike. Make sure both you set your hands. Good. Now. Same thing again. Step forward, choke. Now. Yeah, sure. We never learned Korean? Oh, wait. I just did. Is that a red belt or is that a flashlight? Red belt. Okay, that's. It's been a while since I've talked about it. I thought she already knew Korean. Okay, that's alright. Facing forward, check. And then. Okay, let's get a quick water break and move on. We're running a little short on time. Long short. We're gonna move on. And then, see you guys Bye. in a little bit. I didn't know you didn't know Come back. Ooh, that's tight. Deadline. Let's go through basic kicks. Okay. Let's start with front turning inside. We're going to rush through this a little bit so we can focus on the good stuff. Tell you, in there. Find that should be. Ha! Ha! Let's start with front kick. By my count, let's warm up with five each leg. Ready by my count. Now. Ha! Ha! Two! Ha! ha! Set! Ha! ha! Next! Ha! Tassa! Ha! ha! Get your legs. Ha! Ha! Na! Ha! Do! Ha! Set! Ha! Net! Ha! Tassa! Ha! Very good. Check out your legs. Okay, rest of the line. Turn it. All right, ready? Make sure you knee up. Turn your body to the side. You need to same height before you extend your leg. Ready? Let's begin. Na! Ha! ha! Two, ha, set, ha, net, ha, hustle, ha, shoot your legs, ha, 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 two, ha, set, ha, net, ha, hustle, ha, good, kick out your legs. Now let's move on to side kick. Remember, knee up, move your knee to the side, but back and tuck in your knee so that your heel is forward before you extend your leg. I find that after every after every set of classes, whenever I show my side kick to the camera, you guys always see my dirty foot. Because that's how long I've been training today. <laughs> after you're doing after you're doing three back-to-back -back classes, this is what happens to your feet, guys. It ain't pretty. Wash your feet. <laughs> I'll wash mine too later. Do it. Why is that should be? Ha! Ha! Side kick, right leg five, left leg five. Ha! 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 Two! Ha! Ha! Set! Ha! Ha! Net! Ha! Ha! Tassa! Ha! Ha! Change your legs. Ha! 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 Two! Ha! Ha! Set! Ha! Ha! Net! Ha! 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 Good. Check out your legs. Okay, from here, today, instead of focusing on spinning training kick, because we did that last class, we're going to focus on our back kick today. First, before we even do spinning. We'll see how we have time for spinning after we do back kick. So, what we're going to do for back kick, first of all, make sure your heels go forward, your shoulders turn, and so does your head. Once you turn around like this, you should be able to see the front. Okay, if you're still looking on the wrong side, when you kick, it's going to come out like this, and that's wrong. Okay? It's interesting because there is now a version of back kick in sparring that looks like this. And you kick without looking in the same direction. That's a little too advanced for you guys. Even if you're in the advanced class, you don't learn that one yet. Okay? If I can do it, yeah, I'm not sure you guys can. So, turn your head in the same direction as your kicking leg. So, my back leg is here. I turn my head towards my kicking leg. I twist. Around and then push my foot forward and land forward. All right, let's go through our back kick. All right, let's see how we're doing here. Ready? Now. Ha! Ha! Two. Ha! ha. Set. Ha! ha. Net. Ha! 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 Ha!
Okay, when I turn around, I want to make sure that I tuck in tightly before I extend my leg to get a clean hook, uh, <laughs> <laughs> clean back kick. Now, okay. Okay, ready? Now, ha! Two, ha! Set, ha! Ne, ha! Hustle, ha! Okay, now because Bonnie's here today, Yes, she's going to show us in her back kick on target. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use this single target right now for accuracy. Because if we want Bonnie to hit just his target, not his hand. All right, so yeah, we're going to see a few things. So Bonnie, you're going to bring it down for me. Show me turn your feet. Okay, so my third good. She has her feet pivoted forward. She has her head looking over her shoulders. Now, when she tucks in her leg, she's going to want to tuck it in tight up to her butt before she pushes her knee forward and hits the target. So let's show the target. Now, so before body kicks, she should already see the target. And now as she extends her leg, she's going to push her hips forward as she kicks. And this is where you reach the target, Bonnie. Okay. So, Bonnie, do you know why you're not reaching the target? Uh, this is the target. Actually, no. Oh, this is the uh, target. Pivot, body pivot. Your hips. hips. Okay, so from here, if you kick on the spot, you're not going to reach the target. Now look at what my foot is doing. What am I doing there? Extending. So extending, it's like stepping back, but what you're really doing is moving your body backwards. How do you do that? By doing this. Okay, so turn around again. Okay, now tuck in your knee and then push your hips forward as you're doing something different. So this is something that people at home do too. Okay, watch this. Tell me what's the difference between watch number one and number two. What's the difference between those two actions? Can you see one? Uh, your weight goes in your feet? Yes, but why? Mm, why? Okay, in one, first example, look at what my head's doing. This is what some of you at home do too. I see this. My head is going away from my target, and my balance, my weight is going in the opposite direction of my kick. So if I do this to a solid target resistance on your team, if I kick this way, when I go this way, I fly this way because that's where my head is going, that's where my weight is leaning. Right now, compare that to this from here when I come up. This is like this is actually half of a back kick, right? But I still have power if my hips go this way. So me doing this instead of this. It's a very big difference. Take a look. Okay, so when my hips go this way, it's like, look, the movement is like stepping back into a fighting stance. Every time you step back, you push your front leg and you push your body backwards, right? Now just do the same thing with your leg in the air and you go forward and you end up moving backwards in the direction of your kick. Let's have body try again from the same distance. I want you to hit the target. So remember, that has to happen while your leg pushes, while you stick your leg out. Push your hips forward too. Give it a try. Turn, we go. Yeah, now tuck and go. Very good. Okay, now the next step to make it a continuous kick is we want to have that going all together. But when I say all together, I mean it like this. From the ground, you're going to come up and kick straight away. Boom. And land forward. So the moment you come up, your body comes up. And the moment you push, you continue. It's like moving like this. Or with a tuck. And then lastly, with a kick. Ha! Okay, the movement of your body is the same when you step back. It's like stepping backwards. Okay? So give it a try, turn around, and then shoot your body straight line and hit the target button. So turn. Now go. Now tuck and turn. That's it. Right. I am the target, tuck and tight and go. Turn. Go. Put the intent. Like touch your like kick your butt before you stick it up. One more? Go ahead. Hi. Very good. Okay, now, what's the trick from taking one and two and making one single motion? Right, here's the thing. If you guys do it too fast, right, when you turn, you're tucking your knee at the same time, you'll overturn. So when do you lift up your leg? The moment you're done turning. So for me, the moment I turn, kick, this is where I want my kick to start coming out. 
from the moment my body goes to here. The moment I can see the target, I shoot my leg out and I go forward. Until I reach that point, I don't kick. So if my body is turning this way, but my head is here, I haven't seen the target. Some people kick from here. And they don't look where they're going. Some people lift up the leg first and then they turn and then they kick and then they turn some more because there are legs in the air, they don't have control. Right? So for you to have a back kick going straight, you finish your turn, then you push half and you go forward without ever turning extra. If that makes sense? You're gonna try that, Tommy? Okay, so we're gonna do this. Okay, Tommy, they turn slow, but then kick back. So go slow turn and then suddenly kick. So turn, the moment you see the target, shoot! Yeah. So in turn, go. Hi. Very good. Can I speed it? Turn a little bit. Turn, go. Hi. Good. Now speed up the turn to a regular speed. Go ahead. Hi. There we go. And now you see a straight line there. Okay. So if you guys can see what Bonnie's doing now, that turn, one, two, comes out in one movement if it's continuous. Okay, but when it's continuous, that doesn't mean you add it together. Okay, continuous is turn, then go. It's not turn and lift and kick all together. Okay, because this is what will mess you up. Okay, you have how much time? No time. You have no time. Okay, that's a very good exercise for today. That's our back kick. Do we have any comments or questions? Uh, just for back kick, when you yes. say spinning, when you say spinning back, it's not really much of a spin. Okay, so don't focus on you guys. Rotating all the way around like that, no good. Just do the turn, and then from here, it's all a single linear motion, okay? That's it. Fire. Any questions, Bob? Any no. questions? You're good? Okay, great. That's it. Let's that's end it. Facing forward. Take it. And then, okay, so from here, you guys can get some water, and we're going to wait for some announcements from Dr. Betty. Hello everyone. Oh my goodness. How, you, how do you guys have energy to do that after doing that all day? Black belt material. Black belt material. Oh, I like the master material there. And instructor and Bonnie Bonnie can never ever run out of energy anyway. So she has unlimited energy. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a fantastic day. Enjoy the weekend, and we will see you guys. At the studio, finally, 3D Woo! teaching. I can't be more, I couldn't be more excited about that. Um, have a great weekend, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye guys. Come, family. Da. Oh, they didn't see it. Do it again. Very good, very good, very good.